Hello, DJ Vic Vapor with you. And, um, you know, not so much a tutorial as just like an exploration into some sound design. Kind of went to sleep thinking about this concept and then woke up this morning kind of thinking about it some more. And I figured I'd go ahead and hit the record button and see if we can get into some really cool sound design here and maybe extract uh, some unique sounds. So let's see where we can end up. All right, so let's get an instrument channel going here and let's pull in, um, let's start off with a serum. Let's get that guy fired up, ready to roll. And I'm gonna go with my volume two of my presets. We will go with, uh, let's start with uh, the Cookie Monster bass. So just real quick for those of you that do or do not know, I've got some preset packs available on my Patreon page. There'll be a link in the description below if you feel like jumping over there. Just a small donation to keep me running. We'll get you a ton of presets and all kinds of really cool stuff. So go ahead and check that out. But anyhow, that's not what today's uh, video is about. So I just wanted to say that real quick and get it out of the way. Let's close Serum. And let's open another instrument track here. And we will add a uh, note pitch shifter. And then on this guy, third instrument track, we will open, let's get Isotope's Stutter Edit. Stutter Edit. Now again, this is a concept I kind of ran through just before I fell asleep last night. So I'm hoping we can pull out some really good sounds by doing this. And on this last channel, I'm just going to open an audio track to record so we can record what we're getting involved with here. So, all right, so the first guy needs to go output to Isotope Stutter Edit. And then this guy needs to go... Let me go back here actually. Um, so yeah, it should work. And then this guy needs to go to notes, tracks, plugins, isotope, stutter edit. So essentially I'm sending the notes from this track over to stutter edit and the audio from this track over to stutter edit. So, let's put some notes in here. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Again, that's one of the presets I've got in my Volume 2 presets pack. That's the Cookie Monster. So let's get that guy. Let's get that guy eating some cookies for us. And this is just a random pattern here. I'm just triggering the synth, basically. And that should work for now. Might move that around later. We'll see. On the uh, pitch shifter, let's take a look at what we need to get involved with here. On the pitch shifter, let's, let's just put one long note in here for a bar, this should work. I think that'll be okay for now. So let me go down here to the pitch shifter. And what I wanna do is modulate the uh, semitones. So let's get a random modulator here. And we will Open that guy up and assign it to the semitones. Don't want to go too far. Maybe like a plus six should be good enough. And then what we'll do is we'll come over here. Let's dial this guy back. And we don't want to go 
too much. I'm going to go right in there, maybe slow it down a little bit. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so now if that's playing. So essentially, everything looks like it's it lined up pretty good for us. Essentially, if we watch Isotope now, what I've got going here is the audio from Serum is being fed into it to be kind of, you know, chopped up and stuttered or whatever effects are going through. But the way uh, Stutter Edit works is it's triggered by notes on the keyboard. So if you have an external keyboard, you can trigger the notes manually or you can do it through MIDI notes. So by putting one MIDI note on a clip here and then telling the pitch shifter to go up and down semitones, it's essentially like randomly going up and down the keyboard for us and triggering these patterns. So let's take a look. This should be triggering different edit patterns. So let's take a look. See how it's jumping around on its own? And that's exactly what we want to happen. But let's go ahead into the packs here. And I don't think I want to get involved with any of mine. Well, Let's see what happens. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's try something else. I think some of mine are made to play live, so I have to know exactly where I'm at on the keyboard. It's not such a random setup. It's all for live performance. So let's go to the light cycle under the BT. There we go. Man, getting some really, really cool textures out of that. Love this idea. So let's try, uh, let's try transform. There we go, just dialed that in a little bit to make sure we're jumping through the uh, the different segments at a, at a good pace. So now what we can do, now that we're getting those really unique textures, is I can, I can change things within Serum and kind of just go through different presets and get different sounds and different effects happening there. So let's do that and let's record in what we got going on. So I want the input from... Isotope stutter edit and I want post. Yeah, I want post. And let me make sure I got that right. I'm not sure if I've got that set right. Oh, I need to take this and send it over to the audio. That's what I did wrong. There we go. All right, so one more thing I want to do on the Isotope channel is, let's minimize that. Let's go ahead and put a few more things on here that'll really start to bring this sound to life for us. So let's put a filter. All right, and... On the filter, we are going to get a couple random devices again. One, and let's get one more. All right, so what I want to do is I want to randomize, I want to put it on a bandpass first of all right there. And I want to randomize this guy, the cutoff, and the resonance. And let's bring the resonance down to about right here. And we'll get, um, let's get this guy. 
Yeah, let's go like right in, right in there should do. And let me open that up and get what I want out of it. Get this guy going over here. And we don't want to go too far, so I'm just going to gauge where we're at here. That should do pretty good. And then let's close that one and get this guy open. And now let's get the resonance fired up. And we will dial that in a little bit as well. So there we go. I don't want it to go too high because then you're going to get those weird peaky sounds. So that's going to be a matter of dialing this amount in. And then let me see, what can we put here next? So we've got the filter set up. Let's get, um, let's, uh, why not? Let's go ahead and put a delay two. Delay two, where are you? There you are. All right, so on the delay, we don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna dial it back just a little bit there. And last but not least, to add some uh, sense of space in uh, atmosphere let's get some reverb on there and again on the reverb we're not trying to go crazy here just bring it down to about right there and let's hear what we get really cool textures coming through there I like that Let's see if we can dial some of this in here a little bit. a different setting here. Let's try that light cycle again. And let's see what we can do with a different preset here. So we'll go back into my preset pack, volume two, and let's just kind of scroll through it, I guess. So now that we got some cool textures going, I'll go ahead and hit record. And this is kind of, you know, one of the things I like to do when I'm in between maybe that productive mindset of creating a track is I'll just do uh, random things like this where I set up the DAW to make kind of bizarre noises. And then I'll put a library, a collection of crazy noises together and uh, have them ready for future productions. So... Hopefully this kind of thing was helpful for you and give you some inspiration, but let me record some of these sounds in and see where we can go from there. You can hear it just on its own making different sounds and I don't have to do a whole lot here. I'm gonna come up with some really, really cool textures. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, some of that sounds really, really cool. Alright, let's take a listen to what we got here. I mean, you can chop this up, put it in a sampler. You know, just some really, really cool atmospheric textures here. So, what I'll probably spend another hour doing because it's so easy and so fun is I'll just, uh, from here, I'll just create a little library of maybe, you know, I don't know, 40 or 50 WAV files that are somewhere in that 30 to 36 bar range. And we'll have those saved for future use where I can come in, chop them up, grab sounds, and uh, put them into future productions. So it's kind of a uh, sound designed, uh, mine, sound mining, whatever you want to call it. But just a really cool thing to do when you're in between creating a track. You don't always have to be sitting at the computer trying to write your next hit song. A lot of times it's beneficial to just kind of go in and look at unique ways to create sounds. So again... Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for pushing play and check out the Patreon link. Like I mentioned before, if you guys um, want to download uh, a ton of killer presets and just all kinds of templates and just a bunch of stuff that's really useful. So just go check it out. Whether you download anything or not, doesn't matter. But if you decide to, I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, peace.